When most people picture a fish, they usually don't picture a stingray. But stingrays are actually a type of fish. There are about 220 species of stingray. Most of them live in the ocean, but some of them do live in fresh waters, like in rivers. And they all look a little bit different from one another, but for the most part, they have a lot in common. Most of them are really large and round, or they have slightly pointed fins, but on the tops of their bodies, they have their eyes so that even when they're hidden in the sand, they can still look around. And also on the tops of their bodies, right near their eyes, they have something called spiracles. And those spiracles help pump water into their gills so that even when they're holding perfectly still, there's still water passing over their gills and they can breathe. Now on the underside of a stingray's body, they have their mouth and their gills. Remember, they are fish, so they have gills that help them to breathe oxygen in underwater. And these stingrays have fins that are a little bit different than most fish. They help to glide them through the water. They look so majestic when they're swimming. And probably the most iconic thing that you think of when you think of a stingray is that long barb that they have. And that barb is made out of keratin, the same stuff as our fingernails and our hair and lots of other things in the animal kingdom. And this barb is actually covered in a skin that, and that skin has some venom in it. So to protect themselves, stingrays will actually swing around and they'll use that barb and they'll stick it into whatever might be trying to attack them. And that is their main source of defense. And once the barb goes in, it gets stuck and they have to break it off of their tail and then swim away as fast as they can, but they leave that barb behind. So after the stingray has to protect themselves, it can be really hard for them to avoid things that might want to eat them because that is their main source of defense. And stingrays are actually really close relatives to sharks. And while sharks might not have a barb, they have lots of other ways to protect themselves. They have lots and lots in common with a stingray. One of that is their skin. So if you guys have ever been lucky enough to touch a stingray, you might notice that they're kind of slimy and real soft. But if you ever were to touch a shark, they're a little bit rougher. Their skin kind of feels like sandpaper. They are made of the exact same thing called a dermal denticle, which is almost like a tiny little tooth, but stingrays have a coating on the outside of their body that helps make them nice and smooth to the touch. Stingrays and sharks also are the same in the type of skeleton that they have. They don't have normal bones like other fish do. Instead, their skeleton is made out of cartilage, the same stuff as your ears or your nose, and that helps to make sharks and stingrays really flexible as they're twisting and turning through the water. So sharks and stingrays are a lot alike. Most of the time, they hang out in protected areas when they're not out in the open hunting, and because they can live in a bunch of different underwater environments, a lot of them are at risk. There are things that are hurting them. In fact, more than 40 species of the 220 species of stingrays that exist are either vulnerable or endangered. And this is primarily because of stuff that gets into the water that we don't want in there, like different chemicals or garbage, but also because the way that we collect fish for our food isn't the best. We drag giant nets through the water that catch things like stingrays that they don't mean to be catching. So in order to protect stingrays, you guys can actually help. You can use less items, use less plastic, create less garbage that will eventually end up in the ocean or other waterways. And you guys can also eat sustainable seafood when you guys are at your favorite restaurant and you're getting fish or sushi or something like that. You guys can make sure that all of that fish was caught in a way that didn't hurt stingrays. So I hope you guys have learned a lot about stingrays today and we look forward to seeing you guys next time.